action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the court for Orlando. Ryan Anderson out there with Andre Drummond. Then it's Jay Crowder. Then it's Matthew Delavidova. And it's Booker in at the two-guard spot. Well, you know, you look at the Raptors, and they improved in a number of ways last season, but their bench play was one of their bigger improvements. I mean, they had one of the weaker benches in the league in 2014, but they flipped that around last year. And the whistle blows is going to be on Damian Lillard. That's foul number two for him. Booker with it. He's against Smith. And it's Drummond missing. Break one thing about the Raptors last year. They made the moves they needed to in order to be sure to, to fix their bench, strengthen their bench. It showed on paper and in person. Yeah, credit their front office. Uh, in 2014, they had a bottom five bench in terms of scoring. Last season, they flipped that, became a top five bench in terms of that scoring, and even had the sixth man of the year leading the way. Lou Williams. Shot by Crowder, no good. One for four from the field since halftime. They're having a tough time getting it going here. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Three-pointer, Talavadova. Here's Booker. No luck. Smith with the defensive effort. Raptors trail by 15. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Delavidova, covered by Lillard. Now the feed to Booker. Drummond with a screen on Smith. Just five to shoot. Here's Anderson. His first attempt of the game finds the target. And the Magic lead by 17. And there it is again. They get careless with the basketball, and immediately it costs them. Yeah, that's been the pattern, guys. I mean, their turnover is not only killing their offensive flow, but fueling the fire at the other end. That's, that's a losing combo. The Amway Center here in Orlando didn't see a lot of wins last season. Magic really struggled at times. Surprisingly, Greg in this building. Yeah, a young team still haven't yet established their identity. Only 13 wins at home. And really, that inability to defend that home court is why they fell out of the playoff hunt early. Here's what Orlando's going with right now. Yambo, he's checked in for Drummond. Reese Harkless comes in for Crowder. Lance Stevenson subbed in for Booker. Great opportunity right there. He's got such tremendous length. He can just rise up and get separation for the three. Iguodala, no good. You know, what's a bit alarming for the Magic at home is that it was a step back from the previous season. I mean, for a team that's supposed to be young and improving, they shouldn't be getting worse at home year to year. Three-pointer Lillard. Again, the miss by Lillard. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. And a big problem for the Magic at home was that they just didn't protect the rim. I mean, they would end with the second-worst home field goal percentage against Harkless with it. It's Anderson with the drive. Makes it off the glass. Anderson. Anderson's got seven points for the quarter. And now we can see them really working it inside. Yeah, Clark, quality looks at the rim. That's fueling this run. Anderson with the block. And now Orlando on the break. And that one's good. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Yeah, they have really owned the interior. You've got to collapse that defense and force them to beat you over the top. Iguodala, the pass to Sanders. That falls. Nice Larry speed that Sanders. time from Andre Iguodala. And that's now seven points for Larry Sanders. On offense, here are the Magic. They're on a 16-5 run. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle much more effectively. 
you just cannot allow the offense to have that quality of a look each and every possession. Here's what Orlando's going with right now. Zeller is checked in for Biombo. Green comes in for Anderson. And Cole subbed in for Maurice Hartless. And a big height advantage right there. You know, it's tough to bring a big man that far away from the goal, but that might be a mismatch they're willing to live with. Outside, Green. Della Vidova kicks to Stevenson. And it's off from three-point range. And Damian Lillard, guys, much improved defensively. He went from a liability at that end of the floor to now being one of the better defensive point guards in the league. Stevenson kicks to Della Vidova. Pick by Zeller. Here's Cole, covered by Lillard. Stevenson outside. There's the triple. Another miss by Stevenson. Serrano's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. Feeds it to Ajinsa. Tucker dishes to Nelson. Here's Stokes. He's covered by Zeller. Kicks it out to Lillard. Stolen by Stevenson. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Well, you knew things would be different for Lance Stevenson out of Indiana, but it wasn't in a positive way at all. Yeah, he really struggled to find a role with Charlotte, the team he signed with. Re remember, he was more of the point forward, had the ball in his hands in Indiana. Not the case with Charlotte, and also rumored to be traded all last season. And he gets it to go. Yes. For three. Nine points for Smith. Fifteen seconds left to play in the third. Now here's Booker, covered by Smith. And Allen with the block. Three-pointer Lillard. No good on the buzzer beater. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Magic out in front, running away with it. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Welcome back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a nail-biter here, but you never know. So for Toronto right now, you've got LaVoy Allen, Damian Lillard out there with J.R. Smith, then it's P.J. Tucker, and it's a Jinsa in at the five. Well, that's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. Out to Smith. He dishes it to a Jinsa. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. You know, they'll want to generate more of those shots in tight, guys. Ryan Anderson. He's checked in for Zeller. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Magic. And, guys, something every team strives for is getting points off of turnovers, and they've done that here in both halves. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. Here's Allen, and he banks in the layup. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Magic leading by 21. Here's Cole. Kicks it to Crowder. And one priority for the commissioner this year was how the schedule worked. There were complaints about too many back-to-back -to -back games, and it was something everybody wanted to improve upon. The pass to Lillard. Allen kicks to Lillard. Now, here's Tucker, defended by Crowder. Shot clock at six. High post shot. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. 
Greg, as you said, the NBA schedule was something that needed change. Players were getting worn out with all the back-to-back -back games, Clark. It's, uh, you've been through it, and you know firsthand. And it's not just the back-to-back -back games, Kevin. It's the four games and five nights, or the seven and ten days. The league office knows the league. The NBA is at their best when teams are rested. And um, kudos to the league for doing something about it. A shot by Crowder, no good. The clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. And that'll be Toronto as it goes out of bounds. Raptors retain possession. Risky pass there. They're lucky to retain possession this time. The Magic making a switch here. Della Vadova's checked in. Then for the Raptors, Sanders comes in for Alexis Agents. And it's Iguodala in for P.J. Tucker. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time. No question. And Allen with the block. And they get it back. And Anderson gets it to go. I mean, if you're looking to get back into this game, you have to get tougher defensively. That's a two from Willard. No good off the back of the rim. Not a whole lot going down for him at this point. He just can't buy a break. That's good. Della Vadova is really good at finding his teammates. For the Raptors, they come in off the loss to the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Smith kicks to Iguodala. That's tipped, stolen by Anderson. And here's Crowder. Teardrop shot, Drummond, and there's a nice one-handed slam. And the lead continues to increase. They are just playing flawless basketball at both ends. Greg, I can't identify an area where this team has underperformed. I mean, they've been five-star in every category. And there's the foul on Jake Crowder. That is his first foul of the game. Remember, for a long time, flopping was like the number one concern in the NBA. I mean, it still happens a lot, but the rules have curbed it quite a bit. But we have seen less and less flopping the last few years. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Biombo, he's checked in for Trump. Green comes in for Ryan Anderson. Harkless is checked in for Jake Crowder. And Brian Roberts subbed in for Booker. Here's Double Vido. Adams defending. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Some doubted how the flopping finds would have worked. Overall, there have been less egregious flops uh, for the better in the NBA. And yeah, there will always be room for embellishment, but I like the finds because it really does minimize the number of extravagant flops. Guys have adjusted, and they're not laying down as much as they used to. Della Vidova kicks to Hartless. No good. And Toronto will come the other way. And a wide open look for Igudala. Again, Igudala missing. Unfortunately, that's been the result for him over and over, guys. He just cannot find the bottom of the basket. And doing some dirty work on the offensive glass. And then fouls it up, Greg, with heavy duty jam on his mind with a terrific putback. Got a pigeon on that one. Easy money right there, fellas. Going old school on you, young fellas. Look that up. Pigeon. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Magic. I agree, Steve. And this is a game where the defense, you know, Clark Steele specifically, generating a lot of opportunities. And it created extra possessions for him, too, Kevin. Scoring opportunities they cashed in on. And that effort, a big part of what will be a nice victory tonight. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. The stats tell us, Greg, that the winner of the first game is a big favorite to come out on top in the overall series. And Stevenson's checked in for Orlando. The free throw drops for Stokes. Here's Roberts. Thirty-six seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Outside Green. Pass to Roberts. Six on the shot clock. From deep. It's hauled in by the Raptors. And the Raptors with possession. It's a 12-2 run here. Good pace. Adams the pass to Iguodala. Back.
Back to Adams. And again, no good by Toronto. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. They won this game going away. They were the better band.